What's going on guys? This is the Red Rogue and today we're going to be going over some of the soul shape forms you can earn as a member of the Night Fae Covenant in Shadowlands. More specifically, we'll be looking at the ones that come from rare spawns found throughout Ardenweald. So this video will show you exactly which ones you can earn, where you earn them, and how you earn them. So let's see exactly what cool forms we have waiting for us as members of the Night Fae. As a member of the Night Fae Covenant, Soul Shape's base form is a pretty cool Vulpin or Fox. However, there are quite a few different animal shapes you can unlock from a variety of content. There have been some found from dungeons, raids, and even PvP. However, the three I'll be discussing today are found off of rare mobs in Ardenweald. Each of these rare spawns has a bit of a catch to them, so I'll explain and show each form so you too can have a bit more variety in your Soul Shape menagerie. As always in my videos, it will be segmented out so you can see whichever one you're looking for, and if you have any other questions or concerns, then feel free to comment below, or you can chat with other members of the community, or myself in my community discord. The link for that is in the description of this video. So we'll start with the Wolfhawk form, as this is one of the easiest forms of the three to get, however the respawn timer on this rare is a bit longer than some folks claim it to be. This is a potential drop from the rare mob named Skuld Vit whom is located in a cave to the south of the Root Home flight path. I'll leave coordinates on screen to the exact location, as well as show how you folks can get there on the map and how to find him. This mob is behind a magical barrier, and the only way to break through and attack him is by being a Night Fae and running through while in your soul-shaped form. Once you do that, you'll have to attack him and the barrier will be disabled. He has a pretty good amount of health, so if you aren't a class with decent defensives or reasonable item level, then he may be a bit tricky to solo. Due to this somewhat lengthy respawn timer, I recommend checking Group Finder every now and then to see if anyone else has posted a group for him. For some reason, a lot of folks have said he has a 30 minute respawn timer, but that is definitely not the case, as I waited easily over an hour and a half for him to show up, and what I ended up doing is switching to war mode, since that puts you in a different phase, so give that a shot if you can't seem to get this guy to spawn. Having others invite you to their group can also sometimes change the phase your character is in, which might give you a better chance at stumbling across this rare spawn for your soul shape form. Up next we have the Rune Stag form. This is a bit of a tricky one as you have to find a magical horn which can spawn in various locations all around Ardenweald. I'll leave a list of coordinates for known locations I found online so you can check these spawn points as well as the spawn location of the Mystic Rainbow Horn itself. Once the horn has been activated, a text prompt will show up in chat saying that the magical horn has been blown or whatever, something along those lines, and once that happens, the mystic rainbow horn rune stag will spawn. It seems to spawn to the north of Tirn of All and will slowly run around on one of the roads. It should get marked on your map once you're close to it, as it did for me when I stumbled across it, I mean, was totally looking for it and searched very vigorously. The horn apparently has a set respawn timer, which some have claimed to be around an hour or two, while others say it's much longer. Again, there are a lot of spawn points for the horn to show up in, so I'd recommend setting your hearthstone to Tirnaval if you're searching for this soul shape. That way, as soon as you see the chat notification go off, or you find the horn yourself, you can teleport really close to where it spawns. Lastly, we have the Shadow Stalker form. This one is technically the most time-gated soul shape you can get, but it's actually really easy right now. This soul shape form drops from Valfir the Unrelenting, which is a rare spawn that patrols up and down this one little path in the Mists of Tirnasith section of Ardenweald, not the actual dungeon itself. This rare has a magical immunity shield that must be broken before you can engage it in combat, and here is where things get a little complicated. To break this shield, you must be a Night Fae, and you must have your Anima Conductor at level 3, and on top of all that, you must be directing Anima to the Mists of Tirnasith option on the map. Once you do that, you'll be able to go to the coordinates that I'll put on screen now, and you'll see this tiny little anima acorn thingy sticking off this branch. Once you click it, you'll gain an action button ability. This special ability will allow you to break the immunity barrier on Valfir, however he is a pretty beefy rare spawn so you might want to form a group before attacking him. The bright side, and here's what makes this guy so easy to get a soul shape form from even if you don't have rank 3 of the anima conductor, is that he has a chance to drop a rare mount, the Wild Glimmer Fur Prowler. Due to this, you'll often find groups in the custom group finder that are farming him for the mount. So as a Night Fae, you can just hop in this group and have a chance at the mount and a chance at your Shadow Stalker Soul Shape without having to get a level 3 Anima Conductor, which is quite convenient. Whenever you loot a Soul Shape form, you'll immediately get a quest from the item that you have to turn into Lady Moon in the heart of the Force, which is our Covenant Sanctum. 
She's this bird form soul shape sitting perched over here by the ramp that you normally use to go up to the Flight Master. Once you hand this quest into her, you can talk to her again and ask what additional forms you have available. This will allow you to set whatever one you'd like to use as your current soul shape form. And there you have it folks, all of the currently known soul shape forms that come from rare spawns in Ardenweald. As you've probably seen in the Covenant Sanctum if you've been a Night Fae already, there are tons of other NPCs wandering around that have soul shapes that aren't available to us players yet, like a cat, and a squirrel, and a corgi, and a yak, and hopefully Blizzard will add these in future patches, and if so I will be doing videos on how to get any future ones that get included. There are more that are already available in-game from other sources of content that I mentioned earlier, and those will be getting their own videos too as I unlock them. And I hope this video helps satisfy some of your collecting needs, and if so then maybe consider leaving a comment or a like. And if it's really helpful then maybe share this with any other Night Fae you know in your guild or just friends you have that might find this information helpful. Anyways, I just wanted to thank you folks so much for taking the time to watch the videos, and especially a big thank you to all my regular viewers, commenters, subscribers, and especially my patrons, who all help make these Sheba shenanigans possible. Thank you all so much for watching. This is the Red Rogue, and I'll see you guys around.